Welcome to TacosAndGeeks.com Retro Look Back at True Lies This is the video game based off the movie of the same title And this is one of those video game movies that does not suck actually This is a, a side scroller or just a shooter in general Or at least a shooter from what you expect from back in the days And I'm going to be playing my two favorite levels here And here's one of my favorite levels This is the mall And the mall is one of my favorite levels You know why? Because I get to get my little GTA on But you can't really do it all the time. You can only get to shoot two innocent people and I just shot the guy with the cell phone. But that was trigger finger. That was pure accidental. I was not meant to do that. But anyway, the uh, object of the game is to stop the terrorists. Just like in the movie. Stop the terrorists, save the people, and, you know, bring peace and order to the countries, to the world. But anyway, we got Arnold Schwarzenegger here. And just to let you guys know already, I'm using uh, Unlimited Life Cheat so I can, you know, just show you guys the whole level and stuff like that. It's been a while since I played this. But my god, I am literally chasing this guy with the with the shotgun. He 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 was running. Should I shoot that old lady? Mm, you know what? N no, I'm not. I'm going to go up the escalator. Oh, wow. And now they got the Uzis. Shoot them. And if you get uh should have got those bullets but I didn't. But this is actually uh let me talk about a little bit about the gameplay here. As you can see, it's pretty generic, pretty basic, but it's fun as hell cuz you there's so much enemies to kill and A's to dive, C's to switch your weapons and B is to shoot. So basically easy gameplay. Oh damn, that promised the old lady. And shoot. Yes, I'm trying to kill people at the same time while I'm doing this. Shoot, shoot, shoot. And this is you know it's actually a great exp oh ooh nice see that that was assist saying that oh you're using a cheat so that's how you know I'm, I'm using an unlimited life cheat they even inform you you know I don't know if this guy oh you see that guy with the red hat I don't know if he's scared or he's laughing but either way he's about to die I'm gonna shoot him I have chosen him there you go <laughs> I'm so bad okay now we get keep going and um it's actually pretty gory as you can see here for a 16-bit game that was catering to kids back in the days and this is actually developed by a um, published by acclaim and developed by a company called beam software i don't know if they still exist or do they involve into another company i you guys will let me know in the comment section if that if acclaim and them are still around i don't think claim is still around though Ooh, nice shotgun as you can see, I'm not using any other weapons because the shotgun is actually my favorite gun. Sorry. But, you know, I think I will switch for you guys momentarily. Let me just do a little dive in here. Yep, gotcha. Oh, damn. Bastard. It's a lucky you're a cheat, Harry. Yes, I know. There you go. Back from the ghost grave. Let me go down here. Yep, shoot you. Boom, you're dead. Don't worry. You can only kill the civ- Oh, Oh good, he's dead anyway. Um, you can only kill twice. A civilian twice. Otherwise, it's game over for you. So, I did my two kills. I should have killed the old lady because she screams when you do it. But, eh, whatever. Get my health. Shoot him in the chest. This game would have really benefited... Um, excuse me. Would have benefited from a targeting system. That, that would have been really a nice lock-on button. Would have been really, really appreciated, especially with the six uh, button controller. That would have been really appreciated because, as you can see, shooting these guys is a tad bit, you know, annoying. But let me get the Uzi out. Got him. And I can't kill anybody else. Nope, got him. It's a pretty, really solid game. Ooh, and that's what I like about the Uzi too. You could just stand there and just go, G -g 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 -g. you know, you can change the directions of what you're shooting. Why did I throw the bomb? That that wasn't really smart. Ooh, there we go. Nice flamethrower. Let's burn people. You're gonna need penicillin. You just been burned. <laughs> that was bad. That was a bad joke. <laughs> Damn, they throwing bombs like crazy. Shoot, shoot, shoot. And here we have people pissing. Let's just watch. Never mind. Let me just shoot them. It took me a while to figure this out when I first played it when I was young and back in 1995. 
that you had to shoot the doors. But here's this is what I have a complaint about. Okay, this doesn't make any sense. All those guys are in the same stall, peeing, or responding, or resp. I, I I don't get that. Why it wasn't necessary that I destroy the bathroom doors just so I can fight this dude here? I I, I never got that. But I'm dead. I'm gonna kill him, and then I'm gonna go to my next favorite board. Got him. Good job, Harry. Nothing like destroying a public restroom, of course. And now here is one of my favorite boards. Actually, is my favorite board, the plane board, the fighter jet board. This was actually the only problem I had with this is that you could not rescue Jamie Lee Curtis character, who doesn't even show up in this. But keep in mind, this is. This is back in the days, man, but I really love this gameplay here. I like those back in the days we had not just shooting, but we also had vehicle driving. They did this in Batman as well, and I think it's, you know, similar to the same engine, but it, this was actually really good, really fun to do. And the only thing I had a problem with this part is that they said that we had three minutes, but yet there's no timer whatsoever. It could take you, le it could take you more than three minutes to beat this part. It's just they count, I guess the clock goes down once you defeat the nuclear trucks or the uh, trucks that's carrying all the bombs and stuff. So that's the only problem I had and I died. And I should be a, like a natural pilot. I do, I do afterburn like it's war. I drink afterburn like it's water. I like, I kill that game, but this one, wow, okay. I'm disappointed right there. I died. But anyway, let's keep going here. Boom. And yes, yeah, so but this is actually a really fun game, you guys. Uh, one of the better movie games. I tell you, back in the days, the retro movie games they were really they were really pretty good. I tell you that much. That's for sure. But I'm gonna end it right here. So thank you for visiting atacosandgeeks.com, and this has been True Lies, our retro game of the week, and we're back to doing that. So. Later days, this is just saying. Later days, don't forget to follow us on Twitter and on Facebook. Peace.